Right, welcome back to the channel. Just on the way down to Sherwood Pines. Bit of a strange one this morning. Got a message from one of my subscribers a few days ago asking me if I could give him some advice on how to get better at jumping. I don't consider myself a, a great jumper. I don't consider myself a great teacher to be honest, but if there's anything that I can do to help somebody out, then I'll, I'll do what I can. So I'm meeting up with Paul. I don't know where he's at in terms of his ability for jumping. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get him uh, a little bit more confident with, with what he's doing just through what I do and what got me into jumping and to the point that I'm at now. So by no means a tutorial, more a science experiment, I guess, to uh, see where we start the day and where we, where we end the day and whether I can uh, improve Paul's jumping or confidence or a mixture of both. So here we go. See you at the bike park. Just add as well that I've never met Paul before, so just to make sure he's not some raving lunatic serial killer. I think Martin's joining us this morning. Martin's a, a black belt in origami, so if anything kicks off, he's got me back. So what do I mean when I say stand up to the jump? Well, I mean it in both senses of the phrase. So you're going to stand up to the jump and put yourself into control by putting just as much force down into this jump as it's pressing back up to you. And you do that by standing straight up as you go up the face of the jump. So as you start rolling up the face of the jump, you go from kind of ready position, you know, arms and legs bent, to purposefully and powerfully standing straight up as you go up the lip of that jump. And by that, I mean standing up perpendicular to the ground. And the timing of this couldn't be more simple. The moment you start going up the ramp, that's when you start the standing motion. And by the time you get to the very, very top of that jump, or what they call the lip of the jump, right at that moment, by then you want to be fully outstretched, fully standing position, right as you get to the top of that jump. Arms extended, legs extended, just as you get to the top. First one were nice, and then you looked at tree. <laughs> Target fixation. <laughs> yeah. That wasn't bad at all, that. <laughs> you might find coming in off that right hand berm sets you up nicer than the line you're taking. Okay. I found that more of a turn then than the line I normally take. A few moments later no. 
That's a bit different from this morning. Everyone. Says his first day he's not doing bad. <laughs> no, compared to a couple of hours ago this morning when he, he he was struggling to just roll over that first one and now he's clearing all that so yeah and these are harder than that third line that are bigger because they're more kicky so you can get these dialed you piece of cake on them yeah. <laughs> we were smashing that one that either that one or that one i think it was and then you then you just give up <laughs> <laughs> i think it's the thing i'm like oh i'm back <laughs> Yeah, that's when it gets dangerous when you, yeah. you start getting tired. Starts getting in. Yeah. And I think that's it. Like now we said, I'm ready to go. It's like yeah, well, before uh, yeah. yeah, before you push yourself too much. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> too many people watching that. Pressure. <laughs> took him, took his head away. Yeah. Right, I'm from Pablo. No one's coming. No, no one's coming. At the end of the day, as I said, he's doing them. <laughs> Maybe by end it year. <laughs> Once you've got technique dialed, it doesn't matter whether it's them or these. It's a, it's the same yeah. same technique. That one didn't go so well. Did not, it? Not, so, not as good as the last one. You the smashed one, the last yeah, one. one yeah, yeah. You cleared up. If you've not been jumping, it's done really well. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm happy we are. It's gone. Yeah. <laughs> you'll, be, you'll be on them before no time. And then you'll find that bigger set probably easier than, than both of these, but you'll have got that technique that you can relate to them. They'll just feel easier. I feel like I've done the right thing staying on these for the time being. Yeah. Especially if everyone else is finding them harder. Yeah. Because if I can do these, I can do others. Yeah. It's a natural line of progression. It's just these are a little bit kickier because they've had some work done, whereas they've, they've not been rebuilt for a while. Yeah find as well when everyone's going up that way and everyone you're coming down you feel that they're watching you you're probably all right this yeah. Time. yeah yeah <laughs> yeah yeah that's 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 him it's, just, it's the confidence thinking people are watching me and you're thinking i've got to be the like the pro yeah no everybody starts somewhere yeah. nobody turns up here and does it all that's what we're going through in mind that one before last because mark was filming yeah and it tried to get me some footage of last two jumps and <laughs> Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try and show off. I can yeah, feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna pull really hard to try and get some good air, and so it's gonna go wrong. <laughs> You're ending disaster, and it's gonna be on camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the worst thing is with the GoPros because we did it at, at Wales. You're flying down, and you don't give you. It's like when it's always on Facebook, like GoPro, and then in reality, it's like a shit. Yeah. Drop. It Just do flattens it, it all, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. Right. Oh. Oh, that way too bad. Well, progress from this morning. God, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Clearing them more consistently now. Yeah. Definitely. Good tuition, mate. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that, but... <laughs> You're doing hard work. Relax. Relax, relax, relax. Let's have another go. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs>